Hi everyone and welcome to Draw More for Kids. Today another bump animal and we're going to be drawing a pig. Now remembering that we're calling them bump animals because they're just made from a bump in the page. Okay, so remember again we need to come in a little way. Bounce him up and over and back down the other side. Alright, now for a pig we're going to be thinking about his ears and pigs kind of have pointy, pointy ears. So in order to draw this pig, just trying to visualize where I'm going to place them, we're going to go out and up to make one point and we're going to come down and back out to make the other side. All right, so I'm going to show you again on this side. We need to come out and it's like a backwards S up to that point and then back down. Now again it doesn't matter if you make a little mistake with the ears or if one's bigger than the other don't worry that's what actually makes your drawings your own. They make them individual and it gives your pictures more character. So it's actually good to have things like that happen. Okay, so now I think I'm going to try and do a similar style on the inside of his ear. And that's the part that we normally make a different color when we're doing our color in the little lady stage. All right, now for a pig snout, we need to make sure that we've made it's kind of going to have to have a circular style snout. So what I'm going to do, and they usually take up quite a bit of space, but what I'm going to do is make my snout in the middle first. It'll be a circular style. I'm going to put two large nostrils in the middle, because pigs are now known for that, in their snout. And it's going to be a bit of a happy pig, I think, so I'm going to colour in a little bit of an open mouth at the side here. Now I know this is looking a little awkward at the moment, but what I'm also going to do is give him another snout around the outside and that's kind of going to define the front part of his face and make his little snout kind of pop a little bit further forward. Now my favorite thing to do is to show you eyeballs and how they will change the character of your animal. So if we put some little dots just here we can make our pig look just like this. If we move them around we can see that we can change the shape of his face and his personality. If we put them at the top, he can be an older pig. All right, so I'm kind of feeling like, I think I want my eyes to sit about here. But I'm also gonna show you some different kind of eyes because these are the surprised eyes or the angry eyes sometimes. He actually looks quite happy with those eyes today. I feel like I might want to put those eyes in because I think that that's actually suiting that his little surprised happiness. And then we can give him some little eyebrows to help as well. Alright, so with my Sharpie, pen of choice, I'm going to do one circle here and one circle here. And what I should have done was put the eyeballs on to see. Oh, See, that does look good. I think I might be actually colouring in my eyeballs. And I'm going to make him look this way. Give it a little bit of a reflection. So draw a little rectangle in his eyeball and leave that white. So colour in all the rest. Some attention. Just going to try and even more her. Colour in this eyeball here. 
and you can see how that reflection kind of brings your pictures to life. Now I've actually got one eyeball a little bit smaller than the other, just fractionally smaller. I could go in and make that a little bit bigger if I came around with my pen and I made a little bit more on the side. But I'm not going to worry about it because you know what, that's what I've been telling you the whole time. It doesn't matter if you make a little bit of a mistake or if things don't match because that's what makes your picture unique to you. Alright, so I'm going to leave those little odd sized eyeballs and I'm feeling a little bit like I want to give him a little bit of a surprised look I think because that's going to match his little face. And I know that sometimes eyelashes can indicate a girl but I don't mind today I think I just want my pig to have some eyelashes you can add them or you can leave them it doesn't matter completely up to you now something else that I just wanted to show you also is that when you are making your creations you can go further than the way that I show you you can do more and add on to your pictures than what I've actually shown you, the basic outline of creating the animals, but you could do other things. So if you wanted to, you could add things like a bow. So here I've just quit, started with a square and then I'm going to come out, wibble wobble the sides and come down. And I can put some lines inside here and that will create a little bow. And because I did put the eyelashes on, now the bow actually fits with the pig. But if you don't want to make yours into a female character, you could put a hat, a top hat on. I'm actually just going to go straight over the top of this and show you how you can put a top hat. So, have a line across here, jump up and over, and you can make your pig wear a hat. Okay, just as well as any of those things, you can add things down the bottom. So maybe you want to put um, a set of beads on this pig. Or perhaps it might be better if you have a, you might decide to have a bow tie down here. So the same way, that we added a bow and we drew it in the hair, we can also put it around some little lines in here and you can put a bow tie on so this is how you can actually add to your pictures above and beyond what I've basically shown you when I've drawn the animal and you can create different things for your character um, I'll be very interested to see what you've done so if you would like to upload your pictures so I can see them to Instagram hashtag draw more for kids or tag draw more for kids. You can also sub subscribe to my channel draw more for kids and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay everyone, bye for now.